Today, we're gonna be trying to debunk the most popular conspiracy theories in history. Let's start off by asking random strangers what popular events they question. Yo, what's good? Thanks, bro. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you. Is there a conspiracy theory you guys believe in? Give me some examples. I mean, there's like aliens, there's moon landing, moon landing being real or fake. Yeah, moon landing. You don't think it was real? Maybe. I remember that video that one astronaut, this interviewer went up to him and said that uh, he had to swear in the Bible and he was like, nah, he got like violent. If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. I'm going to give you the opportunity to get the hell knocked out of you if you don't leave me alone. Hey, I have a question. Is there a conspiracy theory you guys believe in? There's like so many. Do you believe it was real or fake? No I guess comment. it's fake. It's no. fake. You think it's yeah. fake? Yep. What makes you believe it's fake? You think it was like a green screen or something? Might have been. I don't know. I don't think they had that stuff back then. Though. Yeah. Hey, we gotta look into that then for sure, huh? I personally believe that's real. How do you oh, fake a whole moon landing? Nah, that's real for sure. Moon landing is real. Hey, bro, hey. do you believe in the moon landing? We believe what we want to believe, right? Oh, oh shit. I believe you just dropped that sign. <laughs> There's like so many. The Bermuda Triangle, what do you believe about it? That things actually disappear, they disappear when they go there. Is there any like proof that you've seen or that you've experienced that made you believe that? No, just I've just you, watched the YouTube, YouTube video. Yeah, it's the YouTube video. We're trying to debunk stuff, so. Bermuda Triangle, that's interesting. Radio? Amelia Earhart? No. It's the first girl pilot and she flew through the Bermuda. And she disappeared? Or? Yeah, like, I think so, is that the way Off topic, how are we debunking that? Cause like, I can't be going there, bro. All right, we're gonna go to the Bermuda no, Triangle. Bermuda Triangle. Is there a conspiracy you believe in? 100%. Pigeons are cameras. Hey, that's what I think. And then they charge on those like little power lines, right? Uh -huh. Hey, that's crazy. What about the moon landing? Do you think that was real or fake? I think it was real. You know what I think is fake though? Social media and stuff. What do you mean by social media being fake? Like you think like just people portray a lifestyle that's not theirs or? I feel like a lot of the stuff online is just trying to get to people. I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't... No, I, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I know where you're getting to. Thank you. Hi, let's get a picture. I just watched that conspiracy theory. I think birds are are not real. Really? You yeah. think so? Yes. So right now if we see a bird, maybe they're like charging right now or something? <laughs> they're I don't know. The they're charging on the light pole. Right, right. Let's do like right here. Just saying, imagine we run into phase Yeah, like no way. we're coming here. Do you guys have a conspiracy you believe in or nah? I know there's one about Tupac, they sell alive. Oh, the Tupac, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen videos of him supposedly like at a liquor store and stuff. <laughs> Wait, that's crazy. I don't think he would like just casually go to a liquor store. How are you? Good, good. Nice to meet you. Remember I was uh, the caricature artist and you're heading to a Tesla. Yes! I would you trade a painting of me? Congratulations. Turned it down. I wish I had actually done it that day. No, it's all good, bro. Do a I respect it. Of you after the fact. I don't know if you ever saw it. Wait, do you have it? I have it at my house. Good I can to show see you. you. A photo of it though. Yeah, I would love to. Yeah. No way. Wait, is that my nose? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Since we're on the topic here, do you have a conspiracy theory you believe in? I used to believe in too many of them, actually. What do you think about the moon landing? I think it happened. What about aliens? I want to believe. I was actually in like a cult for like a couple years, so I believed in a lot of stuff, and it wasn't until I started learning about like flat. Earth and some other conspiracy theories that I realized all the sh that I believed was fake too. So you stepped out the matrix. Exactly, yeah. Is there a conspiracy any of you guys believe in? I think that at any time on any day, the government can listen into any of our phone calls. I believe that 100%. Okay, have you ever done this where you're like talking with your friends or family and then later on, like two hours later, something will pop up on your phone about like an ad of what you were talking about? Yes. How about when you um, just glance at any website just randomly and then you get all the ads for that? Oh, yeah. Or, or exactly. Email. Or worse, email. Yeah, and that's the private stuff, so I, don't I believe that too. Connect. Now, my father never thought that man landed on the moon. Oh, that's that. one that we're trying to debunk. Okay, well, thank you so much for answering the questions. Thank you. I think we got to go to a museum around here. I think Damn. there's a museum here that actually has a piece of equipment that landed on the moon that they claim is from the moon landing, which again, I believe oh, that we could use to get to the moon. So one of the main conspiracies a lot of the random strangers had was the moon landing, if it was real or fake. So we're taking matters into our own hands and we are here at the Air and Space Museum. We're gonna find out if Neil Armstrong and Edwin Aldrin actually landed on the moon. I personally believe it. I do too. You think that they did land on the moon? Oh yeah. So they brought back over 800 pounds of rocks. They didn't land on the moon. Where did the rocks come from? Where'd you, where can you buy them? Like Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let's get it. Dude, are you not gonna talk about my outfit change or what? What about it? I just randomly did that. They were telling us that this specific aircraft was on the moon, like this actual one. Bro, that's terrifying. Imagine sitting in there and going to the moon, bro. Dude, no way. You couldn't pay me $20 billion to sit in that and go to space? Unless I was guaranteed to come back. Look at all those buttons, dude. Imagine those lighting up. You're in space and it just starts. Eh, eh, eh. 
nothing is 100% real. This is proof, yeah. Is it proof though? Bro, I mean, my outfit is obviously way better. It's not like it's from Spirit Halloween or anything. This is state of the art. I could actually equipment. survive on the moon with this. That's the moon rock. Whoa. That's actually crazy. They brought it back to Earth by the Apollo 17 astronaut. So, how many people have been to the moon now? Probably a lot. A picture right there. That's like actually on the moon in space with the flag. Do you think they have the flag here? No, the flag is up there, I think. Oh, they left it on there? Is it? I don't know. I don't see it when I look at the moon. Oh, oh, then yeah, you're right. It you're so dumb, bro. Isn't on there. You're actually pissing me off. No, you're right, you're right. So this gives you an idea of everything. So it launched off of this. It turned into that, which is what made it to space. When they were done, bro, they got launched off with a parachute and landed in the middle of the ocean. And you see this? That's that. What? Look, look at this picture, bro. What? And it's exactly that. Look at the rust and everything. Oh. I was already a believer, but that just sealed the deal. Like, I think this is 100% real. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin both landed on the moon. Buzz was actually supposed to be the first person to touch his feet on the moon and his door jammed. So Neil Armstrong got out, touched down, and got all that credit. And they actually had real beef. That's from what I heard. Well, that's it for the moon landing conspiracy. I believe it 100%. I'm a changed man. I believe it now. And let us know what you guys think. But now, on to more conspiracies. So they manifested meeting me as well. They said they watched my videos dinner and then phase rug. Yeah, that's like a routine. Okay, we have dinner, dessert, and then watch phase rug. Oh, my, I love that so much. <laughs> Got you guys. Oh All right. God, Thank you guys so much. <laughs> All right, bro, if I told you there's a possibility of a zombie apocalypse, would you believe me? No. Well, supposedly there's a certain type of fungus that can go into an ant's body, kill it, and then control the ant. So my question is, could there be a fungus that could possibly control humans in the future and possibly start a zombie apocalypse? I doubt it. I don't think that's possible. Me personally, I've always wanted to see if a zombie apocalypse, if I could actually survive one, and I think I could. I wouldn't even try to survive. I feel like if the zombies are like the ones from The Walking Dead, I could survive, but if they're like from the last of us those things sprint at you they jump on you so we're actually going to be speaking to a scientist who knows a lot more about this and will tell us if it's a possibility for humans to get infected by a certain fungus possibly turn into a zombie he's going to be testing it out on brian actually and we're going to see if it works good luck bro all right thanks hey what's up man we were just talking about the whole ant fungus and i was going to ask you if you could talk to us about that more i didn't even know that until yesterday about how a fungus can go into an ant's body kill it and then control it is that true yes but there's a whole class of fungi that do this they're called entomopathogenic fungi take over the ant body and then cause it kind of zombify and like climb up a plant and then spread spores in the future like do you think there could possibly be a fungus that can go into a human's body and do that exact thing possibly causing a zombie apocalypse the quick answer is no the longer answer is we already have a bunch of fungi inside of us right we okay. got fungi in our skin if you ever had dandruff he has so much time, dandruff you get systemic infections through your body but none of those things are going to turn you a zombie. So we have nothing to worry about. Turns nothing strong enough to turn us into zombies. Then that's going to turn you into an infected style zombie. Thank you so much Thank for all that so information. Much. We appreciate that. Take care. Have a great day. Alright, well, the good thing is, I don't know if anyone thought a zombie apocalypse was going to happen, but I think it's safe to say that it probably won't in our lifetime. Or God. ever. Why are we at the airport? Bro, have you not heard about the conspiracy of the glitch in the Matrix? What are you talking about? And how we're living in a simulation? What simulation? I was born from my mother's, you know what? There's a huge conspiracy that goes on where people don't believe reality is real and we're in some quote unquote video game and we're being controlled by something higher. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. I know I have, where sometimes I'll be driving and I'll see an airplane in the sky. It seems like it's just staying in one spot. Please look at this TikTok. So people are filming the sky. She's showing that she's walking look at this airplane i'm sorry but how is that real wait it's not moving at all okay. there's no way that's edited is it obviously don't believe everything you see on tiktok but how do you fake that she literally showed herself walking she showed people recording the sky and some people believe that that's a glitch in the matrix like something messed up the video game is glitching dude i see some pilots that just got off the plane do you think they'd be down to like talk about it there's another crazy coincidence that happened i did a video in las vegas where i took noah's credit card and i met a girl who wanted me to tattoo a phase logo on her and that was in Vegas. And then two months later, Noah goes to Disneyland and runs into that same girl. It's too crazy to seem real. Are you guys pilots? I am. Have you heard about the glitch in the Matrix? Where sometimes- Where you fall off the edge of the earth? That could be a glitch. There's a example where like some people see airplanes in the sky and it seems like they're just stopped. I want to show you this video real quick. It shows that people are recording, she's walking, and then the plane is just stopped in the air. Is there well, science behind that? There's two things going on here. One is that that airplane is towing a banner. They tend to fly relatively slow. And if 
there's a lot of wind coming from the direction that the airplane is flying to. It's passing through the air plenty fast to stay in the air, but it's not going very fast over the ground. And it just makes it look like it's not really moving? Sure. I've flown an airplane backwards over the ground before. What? Because I was flying at, I don't remember what it was, 60 or 65 knots, and there was more wind than that, and I was nosed into the wind, so I was backing up over the ground. What? Yeah. That's terrifying. Thank you for the insight. Okay. I appreciate right. it. Now we're just idiots. So it's pretty much just if it's very windy. So what do you think? So I think I want to go home. No more conspiracy? All right. So we all know that conspiracy about the government spying on us. I'm sure this has happened to you guys because it's happened to me so many times. And I did this in my last conspiracy video. We put our phones on the table and we started talking about a cruise ship. And then later on in that day, we got an ad for a cruise ship. And that happens so often what? to me. Well, I'll be talking casual conversation like with my mom and I'm like, oh, I really want that toaster. Two hours later, toaster ad on my phone. I think the government spies on us through our phone, but there's a conspiracy. Supposedly your phone is recording you at all times. That's if my biggest fear, bro. This is an iPhone at the top right here supposedly there's supposed to be a red light flashing and you can't see it right I don't see no light if you take an Android and you open the camera app and show this supposedly a light's supposed to be flashing meaning you're being recorded here we go oh, oh my Wait, what does that mean we're being recorded I don't know but as you can see guys the light doesn't flash at all oh my god now a lot of people are thinking that it's face ID but let's just unlock my phone and see if it's still happening I'm gonna put the camera in front of it. Dude, it's still Wait, flashing. I don't, it's, it's right there. Where? Right there in the middle. Look. Oh. It's flashing. Do you see it now, Noah? Yeah, kinda. Mm. Okay, now, Anthony, let's see your phone. It can't just be mine. The light is there. No, on mine? Wait, face ID? No. It's still flashing. There it is. Oh. That can't be the it's government, It's a conspiracy. Right? It's a conspiracy. So a lot of people think it's for face ID, but. Wait, try wait. it on that. Oh, yeah, true, true. Let's do it from the iPhone to the Android. If the Android doesn't have it, bro, then that means it's an Apple thing <gasps> no light no way. hey yo hold up i know people make fun of androids and stuff but i might actually have to hit that up and i'm not gonna lie i spice posted a hard post and she was using an android so i might follow in her footsteps wait what could that mean i do oh there's people stuck in the phone okay. flashing oh, no. a light at us saying Dude, help help they're at a concert i don't know let us know in the comment section what you guys believe that red light is a lot of people think it's face id i unlocked the phone and it still was that flashing light but it wasn't as intense if you're not Doing illegal stuff? Who cares? It's not like the government's gonna come after you for like doing anything else. He's speaking none but facts. <laughs> no printer. The Mandela effect is when a large group of people have a memory of something that didn't even exist. Let's say for example, you think about something in your head like a logo or a brand. You go and actually search up what that brand or logo looks like and it's just completely different than your thought or maybe you just had a little bit of a tweak. Everyone you asked had the same thought. Exactly. That's the Mandela effect. Pretty much everything is not what it seems. Here we have some examples of the Mandela effect and these are logos that are commonly mistaken. Let's see if we can get them right. Okay, peanut butter. I think it's... Jiffy. Jiff. No, Jif. it's Jif. It cannot be Jiffy. Wait. It's Jif. Wait, there's no way. Yeah, Jif. You think it's Jif or are yeah. you just saying that? No, no, I, I, wait. No, Jiffy. It's Jiffy. Okay, you think it's Jiffy? Yeah. It's Jif. What? I knew that one. I've what? never. Wait, so you and your brain thought it was Jiffy this whole time? You, you remember there's it always Jiffy. been three letters on that little bottle. That's what I remember, at least. Yeah. What? Oscar Meyer. Okay, it's Meyer with an E. There's no way okay, it's wait, a. Okay, wait, I was gonna say A. What? No, please stop. Okay, no, it's a, it's an E. It's, it's E. A, yeah, Come on. It's an E. It's an A. No, it's not. No, it's. <laughs> yo, yo. Hold on. Wait, what? I don't believe this. Hold on. Oh my god, it was an A. C-3PO from Star Wars. Did he have a silver leg or not? I'm thinking he didn't for sure. I, I don't think he had a silver leg. Yeah. No, I wouldn't notice. I'm confirmed for sure. Definitely. He did. Hold on. What? When? Is this a prank? No, that looks Photoshop. Wait, yeah. what? He had a silver leg yeah. that whole time? Flint stones or Flynn stones? Flynn stones. Oh, oh no, yeah. I don't know. Okay, it's obviously Flynn stones. Are you stupid? Like with the T or not? With no T. Okay, I'm going with the one with no T either. No I don't tea. remember. There's no way it's uh. two T's. Go ahead. Uh. Whoa! You're lying. Wait, you're saying it's not the Flynn stones? It's the Flint stones? I remember Flint stones with a T. Really? T -t See, that's crazy. Dude, Anthony's gone. Where did he go? Anthony. Uh, I just need to put water on my face. Okay, it's it's two E's for sure. Thank you, Febreze. Hold on. Appreciate it. I use Febreze almost all the time. It's only one E. I'm never. <laughs> we got Let's that go. wrong. We've gotten one out of like five. Let's go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's either one not. F. No, it's two F. No, it's not. It's oh, one. I wait, 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 wait
Ori? No, it's one. Oh, it's one. It's not. I remember. I remember. I saw something where Oreo wanted to be unique and do one F for stuff. So just. Are you sure? Okay. One F. One F. Okay. I, I remember. Wait, I think is? I saw something. Yeah. I eat cheese it. No Z at the end. It's no Z. No, I love cheese it. The no. thing is, it's like we say cheese it, but is it cheese? Trust me, I love cheese it, dude. There's. Hand no me a cheese it. I'm gonna trust you. There's no Z. Correct. Yes, I love cheese it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, we're on yes, a roll. Two yes. in a row. All right. Oh, does it have that brown? It has the brown. Oh, oh no, it no, doesn't. No, no, no. Ugh. It doesn't. It doesn't. Imagine it on boxers on the tag of boxers. True, true. I'm gonna no go with brown thing, no left brown. one, no brown thing. Correct. No brown yes. thing. Okay. Okay, right. okay, okay. Uh, what's the difference? The circle on the F. It does have the circle. It does. Yeah, I think it does. It does. Correct. Okay. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, we're good now. What is it? Okay. Oh, it's, the, it's star. the star. No star. There's no star on there. I'm not stupid. Think about it. Starbucks. No, nah, there's no star. Okay, we'll go no star. There is a star. <laughs> okay, bro, come on. Stop, stop. I initially stop. thought that. I'm not gonna lie, I was influenced by Anthony. This is not even a Mandela effect. It's the right one. It's just chick without oh, a yeah. K. Oh, I know. Chick without yeah, a K. Yeah, no K. That's correct. Thank correct. you. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Good. That's not correct. You're lying. You're lying. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Our life is a lie. Walk around the streets and ask anyone this question. Wait, wait, my whole life is a lie. No, I've never seen. No, hey, stop. Can I ask no, Leslie I'm, for real? Bro, I'm speechless. I can't even finish a sentence. Did we have to be. Okay, okay, hold on. Leslie. Yeah? Which one is it? Okay, I think it's the second one. The one with no K? Yeah. Bro, I told you that's wrong. It has a K. I'm actually. I, I, it has a K. Bro, I feel like they must have changed it recently. You guys love Chick fil A, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which one of these logos is the right one? The second one. Okay. Dennis? The right one. So you think it's the one with no K? Well, it's the one with a K, and I'm mind blown. It's no K. Trust me, I eat Chick fil A. That's what we thought. I was screaming on the ground. <laughs> okay, bye, bye, bye. On that note, we're ending the video. I don't know, my whole life feels like a lie. Well, if you guys have a conspiracy theory you guys believe in, want to leave it in the comment section down below. Have any input on the ones we talked about, we'll be reading a ton of comments. Yes, sir. Make sure you subscribe. We'll see you all at the next video. Chick fil A out.